Hey, happy Monday, my loves. How are my beautiful Aquariuses? We're going to get started and see what divine messages Spirit has for us today. Uh, please help the channel and like and subscribe and hit the notification button. It only takes a second, guys, while I'm laying out these cards. Um, I truly appreciate you for it. All right. And also, I, I do offer for those interested a $15 reading. Uh, please don't comment on how to do it. I'm telling you how to do it right now. Just click on the description below the video and you'll see instructions there. Okay, so here I'm seeing uh, somebody's very focused this morning on, um, I want to say their freedom. Okay, so you're, you're working hard on something here, something that you want that is going to provide you um, a new start, but you can't move on this until you're free, whatever that means to you. Okay. If, if this is resonating, please comment. Okay. It feels like somebody has to get out of a situation they're in before they can work hard toward what they want. Maybe what they want is another person. Okay. And a new beginning with that person. All right. So here I'm seeing celebration. Um, this is kind of, um, uh, mysterious. Okay. So I'm seeing something. We have the moon here. This is, this is things going on in the background guys that you're not privy to. You don't, you don't really know what's going on. Okay. Uh, but they're telling you there are things going on. Um, this is in the middle of kind of feeling lost today and celebration. So, okay. So for those of you who are on the fence, like you're in a situation that could go either way. So you're feeling like, you know, this could go bad or this could go good. And you're not, you don't know which way it's going to go. All right. Spirit is saying you're going to have your justice on this. Okay. So this is positive. This is a really good omen for all of you who are in this situation today. All right. And I'm also seeing this uh, really nice opportunity coming in for you. All right. So a very positive layout there. And guys, just so you know, um, I do kind of jump around to different energies that I pick up on. Um, this won't resonate with every single one every single day because obviously um, I don't want to put other readers down. I'm not going there, but you're all not in the same situation going through the same thing every single day. Okay. Everybody has different situations they're going through. So we can't put everybody in the same square box, right? All right. So here I'm seeing, uh, somebody to get what they wanted did something on the sly, uh, did something sneaky regarding a child or children and caused an ending and a tower moment, okay? Whatever this is, okay, I just feel like whatever this is ha has to affect this child or children, okay? And that's where we should be, uh, our thoughts should be here. Not like how to get somebody back or, and it doesn't matter if we have to, you know, bring harm to the kids or hurt them. We just need to, you know, start this, make this tower moment. I don't know what this was, guys. I So I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I definitely feel like these children were affected by somebody who did something that brought in a tower moment and an ending, okay? Because the card of want is in the middle. So this is something somebody wanted, Okay, and went ahead and did it. All right, now here I'm seeing some kind of, um, mm, okay, so let me look at this for a second. This Knight of Pentacles, all right, this is about somebody who is trying to better themselves, okay? Um, also, can be a bit blunt at times. You might be feeling stuck and trying to uh, balance uh, your life out right now, trying to balance something out. Um, you're going through something and it has to do with um, others, okay? This could be family, it could be people at work, it could be uh, friends. I don't know what this is, okay? But guys, if you're 
this is what happened to me, okay? So if you wake up one day and your friend calls you or you call your friend and all of a sudden this is like somebody you've known a couple years at least, okay? And you thought you knew them. And all of a sudden they come out and they say something horrible to you, like really hurtful and stupid, right? And it blows you out of the water. You're just like, what? Right? Okay. So this is happening for a reason. All right. Um, this is a wake up call to you to that you are vibing way higher than this so-called friend and you need to separate yourself now. You need to move on because certain people will continue to keep pulling you back into the third dimension and spirit wants you to move. Spirit wants you to move into the fourth and then into the fifth. And this is a common thing that you know we have older friends that haven't raised their vibration they're they're the same you're changing not them in most cases all right even if you don't realize it you've been working on yourself you've been raising your vibration and trying to be a better person maybe you've lived a lot long you know more lives than they have so you have more teachings and and lessons and you know things under your belt so you're just you know, you're not better than them, but you've been around the block longer. So the purpose of the purpose that we keep coming back to earth is to learn and teach. God gave us eternal life. So you might be, you know, um, just vibrating a lot higher than this person. I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. This is a clear, uh, this is how spirit has to, you know, grab you by the shoulders and shake you and wake you up to what you need to do it's a clear indication of it's time to go you have to move on all right and this is what happened to me i had a handful of friends i had a bunch of friends um you know five six people that i had to let go because one by one they said something or did something that was earth shattering to me and it came out of left field and it was the weirdest thing right unexpected and to this day, it boggles my brain. So, but I know it was spirit giving me uh, a little push, giving me a sign. Okay. So this is something that you guys, some of you are going through right now. And you're trying to balance things out with people around you, but you're going through a, a really big change. Okay. Having to do this Knight of Pentacles is you know, about your personality and who you're becoming. You're becoming more patient and more loyal and more protective. All right. And you're uh, very persistent in w where you're going and what you want. Okay. You're coming into your authenticity. All right. Very important right now, guys, uh, coming into your authenticity. I just want to give you a warning about that. Prepare to probably be alone. Okay, because everyone who is banking on sucking you back into the third dimension or expecting you to follow the sheep and believe in everything that they have been brainwashed into where you are starting to uncover things and learn that everything that they told you was a lie. Everything that you've learned, you know, in, in school, it basically has been a lie. Okay, and we're going to be finding out all about our history in a little bit. But anyway, I'm not going to teach it to you. You're going to, you're just going to hear uh, crazy stuff. All right. Here I'm seeing some kind of celebration. All right. But uh, in the meantime, right now I'm seeing something, some kind of stuckness for somebody that is going through, um, yeah, this, this looks like some kind of, um, Somebody did something that is involving uh, court possible uh, incarceration here. All right. And yeah, they did something they should not have done. Okay. This, here's this five of swords saying something uh, sneaky with the judgment card here and the devil in the middle. And now you're feeling stuck. Okay. And this is getting in the way of your happiness. That's what this is. Getting in the way of your happiness. Okay. Um, guys, I, you know, I don't feel like anyone is doing anything that horribly wrong that's watching my channel. I would hope not. Okay. But you don't want anything to get in the way of this. All right. So get clarity on this. This is the windfall that's coming in. And 
the people who are doing nefarious shit are not going to be a part of this. You're, they're not going to give it to you. So you can go and do nefarious stuff with it. You're just not going to get it. Okay. Um, so they're showing uh, someone, at least one person, moving towards this stuckness. And this card right here can be spiritual. This is, you know, my spirit guide watching over or your spirit guide watching over what's going on, what you're doing. So in light of this, I'm saying that they want you to pray. They want you to repent if this is the case, okay? Because you don't want to miss out on that. But more importantly, you know, you don't want to be someone who's um, going down the wrong path because nothing positive will come from it, okay? And there is karma. All right, so here I'm seeing the Seven of Pentacles, guys. This is your harvest. This is things coming to fruitation. Everything you've been working for uh, coming into play now. Um, your inheritance in the middle. You have uh, a financial new beginning, security and prosperity. I'm talking to a feminine here, okay? You seem to be arguing with someone uh, maybe about this. Okay, about the Nasara Jasara, or you know, is this or isn't it gonna come in? You might have had an argument with somebody about it. All right, let's go further. Okay, so here I'm seeing, I feel like this is a mother and daughter. Okay, um. And there's some type of commitment that you guys got yourselves into here that you you look like you want to move away from it because you're feeling stuck about it, okay? And the daughter is an empath, all right? Um, Mom, you're coming in as the empress. You're very loving and giving and nurturing. And you plant seeds. You um, just have a really good instinct about things. And you're very nurturing. In, and so, but I see that you guys seems like you want out of this commitment that you got yourselves into. Okay. I'm seeing some strength here. Wow. Okay. Ace of cups, guys, this is your emotions. This is about uh, a high level of emotions overflowing from your cup, uh, joy and happiness. And in the center, I'm seeing, uh, it's around this emperor. I see the sun on the other side. So this person is uh, very important to you. This is somebody who's a uh, more mature masculine, usually very successful. This could be a father figure, okay? Um, uh, bringing in a lot of joy and happiness. It looks like somebody's father is talking about a vacation, okay? Taking you all away somewhere. If this is you, please comment. All right, we're going to continue here. I'm seeing uh, two of pentacles. Okay, the Two of Pentacles, guys, is you guys are juggling your lives, okay? You're trying to maintain balance and making decisions, all right? And next to this, I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So also we have the Knight of Wands. So this is definitely a family, uh, a mother, father with a son. And there is some, there's a lot of confusion, okay? There's a lot of confusion right now. And, uh, you know, everybody's trying to balance things out, it looks like. Um, here I'm seeing a Queen of Wands. This is a feminine, okay? Um looking like you need some downtime you're needing some rest okay listen to your body guys if you're needing rest make sure you get the rest that you need okay put yourself first remember put yourself first it's very important at this time to do this okay in the center i see this masculine who's very intelligent next to this uh king of pentacles here i don't know who this king of pentacles is to you but spirit is saying use your intuition um, he's very intuitive. He's using his intuition on you. All right. So, uh, this pertains to, um, this pertains to you guys needing to get that rest, needing to, so that you can maintain your strength for what's about to come in for you. Okay. Um, we have the manifestation card next to the good news. All right. Um, 
this good news is going to come in. You guys are manifesting this, whatever this is, uh, but it looks like you're going to have to make a decision um, regarding yourself. All right. This is all about you and your uh, emotions, your feelings about yourself, it looks like. Okay. So in order to manifest, you need to be doing so the self-love um you know, all of these nurturing, self-nurturing, putting yourself on a pedestal, knowing you're the star. Okay, so they're saying, make up your mind about this and and hold this in your psyche about who you are. Okay, so be conscious of it. Don't just listen to this once and let it go. This is what they're saying, all right? You guys are able to manifest. You're, most of you are working hard to raise your vibration, right? You're, you're working to become better in life. And, you know, knowing who you are ha has everything to do with how you're going to treat other people, okay? If you have no confidence in yourself, um, other people around you are going to affect you like there's no tomorrow. Everything they say and do is going to, you're going to be second guessing yourself. Oh my God, this person said this. Is it true? Is this how they see me? Oh my God, maybe they're right. Maybe I am like that. Oh my, you cannot let people in. Okay. You always have to put yourself first and know who you are this way. Once you're there and somebody has, you know, some idea about you, you're immediately going to say, <laughs> This person doesn't even know me. They know nothing about me. They, you know, they're putting their fear on me. They're putting their insecurities on me. They're, you know, making a judgment on me before they even got to know me. They, they can't make a judgment when they don't even know who anything about me. Like you'll go there instead of, you know, feeling like, oh my God, did they, you know, that hurt my feelings. You know, is that how they see me? No. It's all about how you see you, okay? And other people will try to put their shit on you. Other people will, will you know, if you're it's mentioning to somebody, oh, and you're excited and you're starting a business, they will devour you. Oh, man, this isn't the time. I, I wouldn't, you know, the businesses cost a lot of money. And, you, you know, they put their insecurity and their fear on you and become like this, you know, downer person. So, you know... Just be who you want to be, guys, okay? And be strong about it. All right, let's continue in the center. I'm seeing a victory with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, guys. All right, so for those of you who are feeling like this this morning, okay? Worry, 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 worry. Uh, I'm defensive. You know, I'm very concerned about this. I'm concerned about that. This is going on. That's going on, okay? Okay. Um, you they're saying like get rid of that you do not need to be here anymore this is third dimensional thinking it's time to move on your victory is already here i i tell you guys this every day right your victory is already here just live it start living it all right this six of pentacles is your money coming in sharing wealth prosperity giving receiving it's also about being valued okay and then you have the Ace of Wands here. Okay, this is about new beginnings, good news. And being excited about the Six of Pentacles coming in, guys. <laughs> All right, so this is your victory. Start living like it, it's here. You're going to manifest it. You're going to manifest it in if you can just stop doing this to yourselves, okay? I'm going to end it on this note, guys. I love you all to death. Please help out me. Please help my channel by taking a quick sec, uh, by, you know, hitting that button and, you know, subscribing. Um, I love you all. Have a fabulous day.